Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in today's video we're going to have a look at the get super global and query strings and forms. Okay, so if you remember from previous videos we had a look at the dollar underscore get um, super global and um, knowing that it contains um, query strings that are inside the URL. Let's just um, inspect what I mean by that. So let's just quickly print out the um, get super global. I'll just remove this array here go back to my browser refresh and it should be empty now okay well let's say I happen to change something in here and I say some param equal to 3 and I enter that so when we come to the URL um, and add some um, query strings and um, if you want to know what a query string is it's just anything after the normal URL it starts with a question mark and um, it's a pairs of key value um, elements so we can have some key equal to some value you can have and some param 2 equals to 5 when I press enter both of those should be in the array so that is what a query string is okay so how does that relate to um, the get super global so all of those are stored inside of um, dollar underscore get and um, also you may want to wonder how those um, relate to forms and um, I'll show you quickly so let's just exit the um, PHP closing tag here and create a quick form so I'll just say open a form and um, we'll have some value here we'll say input type equals to text and um, let's just close it as it is here okay and we'll have another input type equals to submit okay I'll just line that up nicely and um, we just close that as well give it a um, no value so um go back here and let's just remove this press enter as you can see that super global is empty but now if i enter some value in here let's give this um, input a name let's just say name i refresh this so now when i type in stuff in the input field and um let's just give it my name Lamin. And submit that now let's expect what let's see what to expect as you can see the get super global is populated with that key and um, it's also in the URL so what happened here okay I'll just explain some little detail about forms normally forms expect uh, action um, so if you don't provide action it just takes the current script as the action so in this case it's going to submit to index.php by default if you don't pass in anything okay so that's cleared and next also it expects a method so you can pass in either get or post as the method so get or post okay but if you don't specify the method as well it just defaults to get that's why we are using the get so on a get um method in the um, php form or html form in this case um automatically appends the values in the url so let me just show you now let's just replicate this input um tag here and give it another value of name one okay so go back in our browser I refresh so now if I enter stuff lamb in here and I put sunny in um, the second one when I submit we should see name one and name two in the query string so when you use the get variable um, method in a form it just um, results to having query the values in the query string in the URL here okay so that's how the get um, super global and the form and the query string are related so in the next video we're going to have a look at how the post super global and forms are related okay so thanks for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye